All right, you guys, we're here on Saturday. I am excited to be here this morning because um, I have a lot to share. Why do I have a lot to share? Uh, well, I asked you guys this week what your burning questions were, and I want to be able to start offering this to you guys where you can just ask a question and I will try my hardest to get to as many as I can, um, but we'll see. I, you guys had hundreds of questions. So. <laughs> Uh, let me get to the question thread, but before um, before we do, and we have some things to give away today. So hopefully uh, you guys are on the live and if you're watching the replay, uh, still play along. I often go in and uh, like answer more questions on the replays. So we had a really great time in Michigan. Um, we, meaning I, I don't know, all of us, everybody that went to that was really fun. Um, we're all praying for Shannon because she's not doing well, but um, just know that, uh, man, I'm thinking I got to do my talks that I gave there here. So that's what my plan is. And I have a ton of questions to go through, but before I do, just to kind of let people join, you can actually invite your friends to this. Um, so just like share the Zoom with people. <laughs> share the actual um, video that's happening right now. And we will um, get to your questions right away. So that's always fun. Okay, so uh, this is a group called Club 31 Oils, Club 31 Oils. So it's our site, our uh, where I sell books is 31 Oils. So this is our kind of feeder site for that so that you know, um, this is all free education 100% of the time. So just know that you're welcome to invite anybody into this group, but you have to like invite them in. So, uh, or they have to request to join. So it's just facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash club 31 oils. So this is our new group. Uh, the old one got hacked and I have still been around. We're still here. We've still been <laughs> posting. People are just now months later saying, I found you. So feel free to invite your, your friends to this group because it's a lot of fun learning. Okay, so I'm gonna make a drink. I know we're, we're right in a challenge right now. So hopefully you're doing your golden milk in the morning. Uh, you can do it at night too. Uh, but I just have a glass of cold water here and I like to use spring water. So there's a whole discussion online about what water is best. Um, distilled water is okay for certain applications but not for everyday drinking because your hair will start to fall out. It will kind of deplete minerals in your body. You just have to be real um, aware if you're drinking distilled water or reverse osmosis water that you're adding minerals back in. So like mineral essence would be like a real big deal. Sorry, that's not really focusing in. Um, I'm gonna create a drink right now that is sort of a modification of a bunch of drinks that we have. So I have a glass of water. I have my Ninja Red two ounces. I'm gonna put that in. And some of you are kind of horrified when we dilute our Ninja Red. I don't know about you, but it just helps me have more flavor through the day. Like, I love it. I drink so much water that it's fun to have a drink like this. And this, I learned this at one of the convention, um, you know, the formal events that we all go to. So I learned this, I saw people putting water in um, and I thought, what in the world? Why would you dilute your Ninja Red? And I tried it and it's quite good. <laughs> so it just, and so it allows me to put other things in. So I'm not making the actual red drink, which has sulfurzyme in it because I'm putting some other things in there. And sulfurzyme is good to, it's okay to use with other things, but um, really you want to use that on its own, but it's okay if you did like the red drink and the mineral magic drink, because, you know, this is so gross. I'm sorry, but all mineral, all minerals, any liquid mineral that you use is so salty and just really intense. So putting it into something like adding it with the actual Ninja Red helps. So I'm gonna put, I'm actually just gonna use two droppers and I know the serving size is five, but I'm okay with just using two and I'll have like two of these drinks today. It's not a huge deal if you're a little under servings because um, I'm not actually, I'm, I take other minerals through like Super Cal Plus, things like that. So, oh, there goes my tissue box. Okay, so I have that in there. I'm going to add a nitro. And the reason for that is because I've not been eating well lately. Okay, what does that mean? Um, some of you saw my post that I ate some um, coffee cake. So when I was younger, coffee cake to me was like my favorite thing. And being gluten-free now, like I'm totally allergic to gluten, I can't have um, gluten. 
So I don't need coffee cake, right? That's just like a, a straight up no-go. Um, but I saw that Trader Joe's had a new one that was gluten-free and I, I legit could not resist. <laughs> so I grabbed the box. I promptly came home from shopping at Trader Joe's, heated it up for like just a little bit and then ate it, ate the whole thing. I was just in heaven. It was like the best thing ever. And some of you guys know, I like the gluten-free bunt cakes from Nothing Bunt Cakes and this like straight up blew that out of the water. <laughs> So I like Tim, he comes down and I'm like, you have to try some. So I gave him like a quarter of it. See, and now in my mind, I'm like, well, I gave him some. So that means that in the afternoon I can have some of another one. So then we split another one like in half. So now I'm like at one and a, like one and a, I don't know, three quarters or whatever. So we split another one. And then that evening <laughs> he split another one. I mean, we ate the whole box because he had one by himself. So we ate the whole box in one day so that was on I think Monday or Tuesday and that sort of started a train wreck for me so that happens sometimes if I eat any like um, aggressive amount of sugar like that I end up like craving it and that's something that your body you have to understand the way to stop sugar cravings is to literally not eat any of it and so I ended up getting like a bag of gluten-free cookies and those little, you know, again, it's like all the things at Trader Joe's that I'm not supposed to buy, but I, I'm like, it's gluten-free, <laughs> I'm craving sugar and I know I need more minerals, right? So I have to put that mineral essence in there and, and just stop, stop eating sugar. So the nitro helps because if I start eating now chocolate chip cookies, right, the gluten-free chocolate, they're just like so yummy. I start getting like chocolate headaches. So I have to, I have to kind of like really, really manage the fact that my body doesn't, isn't used to this stuff. So nitro is helpful because usually after I have like a few days of a sugar binge like that, I have to flush my liver. That's going to help with the ninja red. I'll do some sulfur zyme later, but also um, my nitro is going to help me. I have really good energy. I didn't take any caffeine or anything today. I don't, I don't drink caffeine or in any form, but this has small amounts of caffeine that help for brain function. So usually I like to just drink these down because they taste so good, but I'm just going to put this in this drink. So this um, is going to be something that I'm going to sip on during our Q&A here. And then I'm going to do the wild vitality drops plus energy. And this has guarana. So again, this is more um, natural. It's alkalinizing caffeine than I normally do, but it's not a huge deal because this will just help my day today as I am eliminating the sugar, right? So that's something to help. If some of you are like, man, I got to do this too. I just got to kind of stop with the sugar because we're coming on to some very heavy holidays here. This is so good. So this is the minerals help with my cravings. <laughs> the energy stuff helps with my fact that I was eating a bunch of sugar and now my body's kind of coming down from that. So um, it's good. And that's like so delicious. So anyhow, just wanted to kind of give you all a, um, a drink to consider. Now we have a, a sale going on at 31 oils. We don't, um, we don't do this too often. And the next one won't be until black Friday. So do know that the prices will all go back to normal today. And this is one of those sales that Tim decided to start this last, like just this year, we've only done it once before. This is the second time we're doing it. It's pretty much like 50 to 85% off of our site. And the reason for that is because his whole philosophy in starting this business was it helped retire him, like not retire him, but retire him from like a really, really awful job. He worked the night sh shift crew stocking with, you know, those big forklifts and stuff, um, like all night long graveyard shift uh, for really piddly amounts of money. And, um, he never got to see us. He never got to hang out with us and do anything normal because he was sleeping all day and we all had to be quiet in the house. So uh, opening 31 oils, um, the tools that I would provide for my own downline has enabled him to do that as his job. So he goes in there and he loves it because there's no people he gets to, you know, so he says, you know, Jen, I want you to really, you guys all love the way he packs things. He's always throwing free stuff in there if he can, if he can fit it. It's random. So not everybody gets free stuff, but most of you guys do. Um, and one of the things that he loves to figure out if we can do based on the bulk. So if we can buy enough bulk, he likes to give as much discount on it as possible so that because his thing has he's told me because he's watched me. You guys work so hard. <laughs> like you 
you guys work your business so hard. You guys are always out there sharing with people and having parties and doing so much that like it's kind of a drag when you have to buy all this extra stuff and so we're trying our best to do like digital downloads for you guys there'll be some free stuff on the site as well coming up but part of that is like i like to give as much free information as possible so if he can do these every once in a while it slams him though so just know that it takes longer whenever we have a sale like this don't expect it to sh he usually ships things the day you buy it but this could take up to two weeks because we get really, really um, like he gets slammed and I don't help him. It's like very rare. I might go in if it's a team member or somebody who needs an autographed book, but I'm like, get me out of here. So <laughs> it was supposed to end yesterday. I don't know if you saw the post on my son. He asked his um, friend to uh, homecoming and he likes her, but he's like, I don't really want to have a girlfriend right now. So um, he's just asked her and it was the cutest thing. And I got to officially, I met her once before, but I officially met her yesterday to like see her face. He doesn't let me see like what people look like. Uh, he's very funny. I don't know what his deal is, but she's so cute. She's so pretty. And um, I'm super excited. She was so nice. I just, she sat behind me in the car. I was just driving them to the football game last night and she, um, was like super talkative I asked her some questions and he's like mom do not talk about us like do not talk about me asking her do not talk about us I'm like okay I won't he's 14 so you know there's that um but because of like yesterday I had to actually it was raining yesterday and I was helping Tim with something um we had a couple of people that needed something signed and then I had to go over to his school because I had to get the flowers that he picked out by the way like he picked out some flowers at Trader Joe's and then we put him in a vase, like we created just a little like mason jar vase. And then um, he picked out all the things and the wording, it was so cute. So we had to do all of that. And then I had to get it to him because he couldn't bring it to school. So I had to go and wait in the like pickup line at lunch, which was super awkward, but then he had to come like later and he had to sit in the car for a little bit to wait until for sure she was there. <laughs> and then I had to like, put give him all the things cause there was too many things for him to hold. And then he had to walk through the entire campus to then find her at lunch and <laughs> ask her, I'm like, it was so cute. And these two little freshman girls were like standing by our car, kind of, kind of watching the whole thing as I was like setting him up and telling him how to do it. Cause he had to kind of like hold everything and then like pull the sign out for her. And I'm like, hold the flowers down low so that nobody can see them. So it's like kind of a surprise. And, and so then I'm like, okay, you look good. And his hair was all in his face. So I'm like fixing his hair. I mean, his hair is like a mess right now. And, um, and then he walked away, right? And he's walking away. And I looked at the two little girls because they kind of were passing by and they had like the biggest cheesy grin on their face because they knew what was happening, right? So all the girls go crazy over this stuff. So I was proud of him for doing that. But yesterday was a mess. So today I figured we'll extend the sale. I was also late today on this video. So um, we'll probably extend it by about a half an hour. So 31oils.com has like a massive sale going on right now. Um, and once it's gone, it's gone. I have some of, so many of you messaged him later and you're like, please, can I get the deal? I messed up. And it's like, we, we, when we extend it like this, he's just like, I'm sorry. Like we do the best we can, but we can't like price things again. It's a pain. So going in and changing the whole site back is a pain. So go on and see if there's anything you need because there won't be any sales on that site until Black Friday. Okay. So that being said, um, I want to answer as many questions as I can. So we do this in um, in our One Drop Club. So One Drop Club is a club that's been around for I think five five or six years, five years I think. We've been, it used to be called Team Vitality. So we still kind of call it Team Vitality sometimes. But One Drop Club is a group of crossline people, my downline crossline people. It's just kind of a bunch of people, but um, it's like a paid group. My downline doesn't pay obviously, but my um, crossline members do because they want access to me as if they were my downline, but I don't allow people to switch downlines. So you can be in there for a monthly fee and be able to kind of like hang out <laughs> with us and learn. So every um, Monday night usually, and right now we're doing Thursday night. So we kind of switch around every once in a while. We do this, um, they ask me questions and then I rapid fire the responses. So they get to kind of hear. And then if there's something I don't know, cause I don't know everything, um, we open it up to the group and we have a really cool discussion. Um, usually at the end, there's time for open Q and A. So we're going to get into a situation here with all of you that if you want to possibly do that, meaning get on the Zoom call, and then we could have an open Q&A um, and let you guys on there. So again, invite your friends to this right now. You can actually like there's a button at the bottom where you can invite people to say, hey, Jen's live. Come check.
check it out uh, and let them know that I'm live right now. So <laughs> that's always good. And again, if you're watching the replay, you can go ahead and tag people in this video. So make sure in the, in the group first before you tag them. And I'm gonna answer some questions. So, um, okay, so Teresa, the very first question that came in was about stevia and where we get it from and how it's processed. And I know that this is really like funky because a lot of stevia um, contains toxic solutions um, that can stay in the stevia. The thing about Young Living, um, and this is direct from product support, is that we purchase stevia from I don't know that this is a good thing or a bad thing, but it's the largest stevia producer in the world. So it's not like some little back company that's kind of providing the stevia. It's the largest stevia producer in the world. So again, I don't know what that means exactly from a good or bad point, right? Because sometimes I feel like if it's the largest, like think Monsanto, right? It's like the largest gluten <laughs> producing company. Wheat, you know, it's like, no, thank you. But, but... Here's where I trust Young Living. We have um, two of those, I, I don't even know, they're $2 million machines that um, detect chemicals and the chemicals they detect is like, if there was one drop in an Olympic sized swimming pool of toxin, it would detect that. And there aren't any in the United States and we own two of them. So that's, again, there might be some now, this was, uh, I think four years ago, Dr. Book talked about this, that nobody owns these machines but us because they're too expensive. So we own two of them and they're micro detection of toxins. And we run everything that we source through all of our tests. The test that the test that the product would want need to have, that's what we test. So we're testing like crazy and we have a massive um, lab that's in-house. We also do third-party testing. We do all the things. So that I trust that they're not buying stevia that has laced with toxins and putting it in our products. So some of you are kind of like, oh, I just don't want any stevia. I get, I get you. I, I hear you. Um, that just is some of our, so they're moving in that direction. And part of it to remember, and I want to kind of end with this, is that like, it's about one to two million dollars, if not more, depending on the product, to reformulate. So sometimes we must reformulate because of a sourcing issue. The effectiveness of the products will always stay the same, but like sometimes it's a thing where we want to reformulate something to make it better, and then they'll use like Reb M, which is a form of stevia that's better, and and everybody like loves that. So as history moves forward as time goes on um we're always young living is always looking at what's the best thing to do like they just took wheat germ out of all of our um carrier oils which i'm like thank you i can actually use them now right like i haven't been able to use them ever so that's a cool thing and and not everybody's going to be okay with all the ingredients meaning like you might be allergic to almonds there's almond oil in some things, right? So we can't please everybody. So it's up to you to be your own best advocate and look at the products, look at what's in them, look at what it is that you can and can't live by, meaning like, um, I don't want that, so fine. But I wanna, I wanna, I want to kind of jab you here. And you know, this is where, why you guys love me. And I, I say that because it's kind of funny in a sense, because I tend to kind of either rip the bandaid off or kind of stab you in the face a little bit. So sorry about this one, but you, I, you, if you don't like the taste of it, fine. If you're concerned about the potentially very minuscule toxins, which there are none, but again, if you're going to harp on potential toxins in stevia, yet you're eating your processed microwave foods, or you're having any coffee at all from any coffee house at all, or you're going and I don't know, living in this world that I am surrounded by plastics and, and electronics that are spewing out electromagnetic radiation. Like really, we're gonna fight over stevia and the potential small amounts of toxins that could be present, which aren't in Young Living's, okay, by the way. So I just, this is where I get so like all the drama about like sourcing of oils and like, oh my gosh, like what? Okay, have you, do you go to any fast food restaurants ever? Maybe you're like, no, Jen, I don't. Okay, do you live in a cotton yurt? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. You, you can't be because you're watching me right now. You have electronics, you have plastics around you. We can't, we can't 
we can't really, like, what are you wearing? Do you only wear organic cotton? I mean, some of you do, some of you do, but you're not watching me right now because you have a computer on your hand or some sort of cell phone or something. So I just, I feel like some of the things that we split hairs over is just like, come on, you guys, seriously, like who you're going to buy products from. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't like agree with everything Mary does, but she's Mary and we love her and she's got her own freak, freak flag waving. I mean, I have some crazy freak flag waving going on sometimes, you know, those of you who are in Michigan know I'm like, I'm like all about poop. Let's talk about poop if we can. It's Jesus supplements, oils, poop. Can, you know, can we just talk about more poop, you know, but at the same time, it's like, how do I process information, understanding that I just have a ton of co cookies. I ate some, I ate, you know, I mean, hello, what, what can we do here? Are you going to like freak out about, and this is where I go to this. Are you going to freak out about a, a disagreement of like philosophy with somebody but then you go buy gas at a gas station from somebody that you don't know owns it that would kill you if they could. I, I'm just saying like, if, as a Christian, of course I'm gonna go buy gas. The person's not gonna kill me. Okay, but what are their phil philosophical, basic foundational like philosophies of life are drastically different from yours, but you're still okay shopping at Target and shopping at Amazon, you know, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, if you look into some of the owners of some of the companies that you frequent, you know, I, I mean, this whole psychodrama over PayPal, I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, come on. I've read all of it. I'm like, you guys, did you read it all? <laughs> okay. So anyhow, I'm just saying we tend to kind of like die on the wrong hills really good book. Um, I think I forget the author, but it's called like dying on the hill, right hills or something like that. Finding the right hills to die on. That's it. Phenomenal book, you know, but it's a, it's a religious Christian book. So, but yeah, I mean, what hills are you willing to die on? To me, Stevia, not necessarily the right hill to die on, but you might, that's okay. Okay. Um, Okay, when you make your own blends in a bottle using a dropper instead of a roller ball, how long do they stay good for? As long as the oils don't have carrier oil in it, forever. Same as your oils. Okay, so forever is a weird term. Um, most essential oils, if kept in a cool, dark place, and the bottle itself, you know how we have that new line um, by Kate and Jacob, Jacob and Kate, how, how does it go? Um, and everyone's like, oh my gosh, they're clear bottles. This is so funny to me. You guys are the same thing. The amber doesn't do anything that regular glass doesn't do. So glass is a UV protectant, just so you know. So I know it's like, what? Yes, those glass bottles are not any different than your amber bottles. And some of you don't really understand that, the science behind that, but look it up. Okay, so that being said, um, your oils need to be kept in what's called a cool, dark place. This room is a little risky for me. So I don't have any citrus in here. So anything that looks like citrus, is, those are empty. Um, the other ones, these are full bottles. I've, you know, I actually use this wall. So sometimes you'll see some like blank spots and stuff. Um, but I keep these closed all the time. And um, the problem with this room is it does get hot in the summer. So we try to keep the, I mean, our electrical bill last month was $500 and I'm not entirely sure why. So I have to look into that, like what's going on here. But we had massive heat waves last month and it was like, we had to keep the air running. So one of the things is um, your oils, what does that mean? So most of my oils are in my refrigerator in my garage, like most of them, because that is a cool, dark place. So if you look up scientifically what the term cool means, it's not your temperature of your home. I know that's like maybe shocking to some of you, but think like wine cellar. You want your oils in that type of environment. <laughs> so, so if you have a wine cellar, stick all your oils in there. I really, honestly, like create an oil wall that's like beautiful and is in a wine cellar, you know, uh, forget the wine. You don't need the wine. You need the oils. But um. But citrus oils go bad in about six months to a year. If I keep them in the fridge, they can last a fairly long time, like three or four years. So I do, I do that. So citrus oils shouldn't be left out. Um, 
And then, but otherwise like carrier oils last six months to a year, again, depending on the carrier oil, if you put fractionated coconut oil in there, that can last about two years. That's why that will last longer. But generally speaking without carrier oil, because carrier oil will go rancid first. If you were just putting like a blend of like sacred frankincense and um, like we have this really yummy blend right now for our face serums. So we have an um, ozonated face serum that has rose in it sacred sandalwood, sacred frankincense, lavender, and cedarwood. And those oils, um, like I, I have a blend and it's a, a full, huge dropper bottle full of those oils because it's the blend for that um, serum. So when I fill that serum and I put the oils in there, that stays in the refrigerator, but it wouldn't need to. It's in a dropper bottle and I could leave it out. I just want it the freshest. <laughs> so, because those are very expensive oils. But yeah, um, without anything, it can be in anything. I mean, it can last for a very long time without citrus oils. And even if it's just a few citrus oils, like thieves is not a problem. So that can stay out as well. Um, okay. Okay, I keep hearing that nutmeg is potentially carcinogenic. Um, so, okay, that's not true. So essential oils, let's see what I can grab here. I have some that are unopened here. Those need to go in the fridge. I a, like I had a little bit of lavender in there. Okay, so essential oils, and I know from like the maybe, and I'd have to look this up, but nutmeg, nutmeg itself. Okay, let me back up. Essential oils, and this is part of one of my talks. Essential oils are, um, Gary used to call them oxygenating. Okay, so that's not entirely true. So there's kind of like some scientific um, studies out there that kind of debunked that fact, which it's like, okay, but that's not what he meant. And this is what I, I loved about him. And it was also difficult about him. He was this visionary who wanted so badly to explain things to you in as easy a way as possible. He wanted you to utilize your oils with a, a basic understanding. So the oils themselves are not oxygenating. What the oils do is they help your body utilize oxygen better. Okay, so again, it's like, what does that mean? And it could, could he just say they oxygenate your cells? Yes, because they help your body utilize the oxygen that is in the cells. Okay, so what does that look like? Anything that is oxygenating is an anti-cancer thing. It, it, cancer cannot survive in oxygen. So anything that helps your body utilize ex oxygen better is an anti-carcinogen. So to claim that an essential oil of any kind is a carcinogen is sort of like an oxymoron. That doesn't really make any sense. So if I take oil and I drop it on, right? So um, there's hardly any in here. So I just got a little bit on my arm there. And I understand that what's happening now is I have a, a like I have a pulse oxygenator thing so I can see like my pulse ox and it's anywhere from like 96, 97, 98, 99, right? That's good. Your body operates best at 100% oxygenation. So if I was in the hospital, they would probably read that my, my oxygen levels are at 100%. I don't have any illness right now. I don't have anything chronic. So I, I you know, have 100% oxygen. The question then though is, is my body utilizing that oxygen properly? And the answer is oftentimes no. So if you find that you're getting yeast infections or you've got, you get kind of random infections or sicknesses or colds, like your body, you're getting um, illnesses too much or your kids are getting illnesses too much, things are going around. It's that there's a lack of oxygen in your body. And so what oils do is help the cellular at the cellular level level, right? Because they break through those cell, the cell, um, basically they're breaking through that cell wall. Uh, it's not really a wall, you know, it's that, that cell membrane they can break into and get in there and they can really help restore your mitochondria. They, they help everything, but they're helping your body utilize oxygen. You can be at hundred percent oxygen, but your body's not utilizing it properly. So that's why oils are so beneficial. So to say that um, it's a carcinogen carcinogenic is just like, like what? So my, one of my very best friends just got diagnosed with garden variety breast cancer. Um, and she is not wanting to do any treatments, like normal treatments. She's like, I don't even want you cutting it out. Like it's a big, good size lump. Like she let me feel it and all the things. And I'm like, Whoa, okay. That's helpful to feel it. Cause now I know what it feels like. Right. Um, 
And she's like, nope, I don't even want surgery. I don't want anything. So she's doing all natural things. So she goes into the surgical oncologist just to like have a conversation, right? She's going to do all the things as far as with the medical doctors to just talk about it and see what's going on. And um, they were like really aggressive with her. Like we have to attack this now. And like, really like, you know, this is something that's really important. We got to get it done. She's like, well, I'm pretty much not going to have surgery at this point. And I'm going to try some natural things. And the doctor's like demeanor changed like a 180. She went from being like this really cool, like we're, we're going to help you doctor to you're going to die. And she's like, well, I was thinking about doing like oxygen therapy and ozone therapy and stuff like that. Like, again, this is just high activated oxygen therapy that is commonly done in places like hope for cancer and different places. Um, and by the way, like the reason ozone therapy and oxygen therapy are not FDA approved is because they predate FDA. The FDA was founded in like 1909 or something like that. And these therapies have been around forever for much longer. So it was founded in like the 1800s that this is something that can work. So this is, um, it predates FDA. So you can use it. Medical doctors can use like intravenous ozone, basically activated oxygen uh, for, for like disease therapy. So it's like, okay, so here's the kicker. The doctor looked at her with a straight face and said, oxygen spreads cancer. I'm like, what? Like, are you actually a doctor? <laughs> because that's the opposite of what oxygen does. Cancer cannot live in, an, in, a, in oxygen. So oxygen kills cancer, it doesn't spread cancer. So it's interesting when we start hearing things like these, like nutmeg is a carcinogen, no. Like it's, it's just the ridiculousness of the big companies out there wanting to scare the crap out of us so that we, it's money, it's all money. So this woman was trying to scare my friend into thinking she's gonna die. She will die if she goes down that route. That's a mind game that I think is so, so disgusting because the natural therapies are like, if you change your entire lifestyle, your body can heal itself, you know, and this is a money thing. So that's where I'm always like, okay, and that was a little bit longer answer for that, but we're going to do a talk about oxygen and why it's so cool uh, coming up in a little bit. Okay. So what is the best method you can re recommend for organization and learning of oils? Okay, so we get into this question a lot about like, why are my mine in color order? You know, that would drive some of you nuts because you need the alphabet. Um, I encourage you to, those of you who need the alphabet to um, throw the alphabet out the window and organize them by color. Okay, so here's why. That's going to help you learn the oils better. Uh, when Gary first started um, to create, you know, like extract the oils and put them in bottles, the original method was the tertiary method of color color theory. So each of them have a quadrant of action and activity, and they're able to do certain things. So they're in a color. So some of the colors won't make sense to you. And you'll be like, that's a weird color if it was one of the original ones, because it's part of the action color, not necessarily a plant life color. So if you call customer service today in any oil company, they don't know this. This is old school aromatherapy. They're like, yeah, it's based on like the, like lavender has like purple flowers. That's not, that's not why it's colored, colored purple. Um, so if you get into the understanding of the four um, zones of color, and we're not going to get into that because it's a whole long lecture, but um, basically they're based on actions. So by having them in the color actions, what I can do, and not all of them are doing that anymore. So now, now new oils that come out, they are doing the color based on the plant itself. So that's a little annoying because they don't all really work. However, they're generally going to be in the similar actions. So I can go to the wall and know where things are 
because color, your brain will remember color. And I can remember, oh yeah, that was a purple, like clary sage was a purple one. I need to kind of find that in the purples because those actions have a calming property. They're good for my hormones, right? These are some properties like lavender, same, right? There's some things about them that are the same where like the greens, you're gonna get some conifers and some of the, um, the heavier like things that are herbs. So you know that. So it's just something like a lot of the pinks will be for your face, right? And those are those pink ones like patchouli and frankincense. They're kind of the reds and the pinks, um, but the pinker ones tend to be more for your for your face. <laughs> so uh, and that's just it's just an interesting thing to be able to do them in that. So like when I think about the browns, the browns are more um, have that action and activity that are really good for immune function. So again, it's a, it's a way, it's a method of organization. You can do them by alphabet, but the problem with that is then you, the organ, organization is totally out the window of action. So when I go and I'm really looking to try to make a blend for maybe my immune system, I can go to the browns and um, really browns and yellows and kind of mix some stuff up there. And even the browns moving into like the deep reds. So that's some like bergamot, um, tea tree, right? I can, I can look at those. So that's, uh, that's a method. Um, you can learn about that method in most of my books. I mean, I talk about it in the Vitality book, which is a really, um, really great book to understand some of the foundational things. Uh, that method is also discussed in the essential oil. No, not the truth book. I think that's in the French aromatherapy book. So that one's really helpful because French aromatherapy was the foundations of where Gary started. So whenever you hear something that I'm teaching that maybe is different from maybe what your leaders are teaching you, it's only because I'm always going to go back to the original Gary Young method of teaching. I always teach his foundational original stuff. As he got older, he kind of learned that like people need to have roller balls. They need to have things that, you know, maybe you're touching your orifice reducer. It's totally fine if you do that. Um, it's just a matter of understanding what the but what is the difference between like raindrop in a bottle compared to an actual raindrop? They're completely different. They might still work for you, but it would be different than getting an actual raindrop. So hopefully that helps. Um, so do you reuse your bottles with your serums? Um, okay, so I do. I never clean out bottles and here's why. I'm going to keep the same bottle with the same thing. And again, I don't have any of my serum bottles here because they're all in my bathroom, but in, and downstairs. So like I have a dropper bottle that is just for lavender, lemon, and peppermint with my capsules next to it. So I can just have it. It's a synergy that's pre-made and I can take it, put it in the capsule, knock the capsule back. And that's my LLP for the day. Um, I have uh, serums that I have for my face, you know, things that I'm using for my hair. And that's something where I keep the same oils in those. I don't mix them. So like if I have a bot, like if I have a bottle that I had used for my face serum, I can keep filling that. I you know use it till it's done. I literally use it till it's really done. I actually take the dropper out and I'm like <laughs> getting everything out. But then I'm putting the same essential oils in there, possibly a little bit di different, which is fine. I might add something else like patchouli one month, more cedarwood the next, and then I add my and then I let it synergize for about a day, and then I'll add the carrier oils back in. So I have like two serums going at any time. But um, I'm not cleaning them out. It takes a lot of work and you're using like alcohol. I don't get into the Epsom salt game of, you know, extracting any leftovers because that doesn't really make any sense. If I'm going to use an old bottle, so I have a bin back here that is full of old bottles and I, and they're clean old, meaning they're, they might have like, say a lemon bottle it still has like a tiny bit of lemon in it. I might grab a bottle of say frankincense that's a bottle that has nothing in it, but it has the remainder of frankincense in there. And I would use that if it was going to have frankincense in it. Does that make sense? So instead of cleaning that bottle out and like that whole rigmarole, I, I will take an old bottle and use it with a base of something that's already in the blend I'm trying to make. So that's a, a way, it's a method. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can go ahead and clean them out, but you just have to use like hot water and then you have to use alcohol and you have to rinse it out and then you have to make sure it's completely free of any residue of anything. Like it's, it's, it's just a lot of work and then no water, you can't have any water in there before you start adding extra things. So it's a long process that I don't have the energy or the time to do, so I don't do it. Okay. Um, how do you get your husband and family members on board with this amazing company? It took a while. I started Young Living in 2007. And let me have this. I'm going to show you. This settles. So I usually just blow. 
blow a bottle, to blow a bubble to mix it a little bit. But 2007, he um, still uses purification on the bottom of his feet every day like clockwork because number one, he's realized how amazing it is for stinky feet. So we don't have any stinky feet in the family anymore. My son had really stinky feet at one point. And um, so we have, we have very white skin and my husband has brown skin. So purification on the bottom of his feet is excellent. On the bottom of my feet, it will turn like my calluses and stuff yellow. So in this winter, I don't mind that. And also it attracts bees in the summer. So in the summer, we switched to tea tree. So right now, my son has a bottle of tea tree in his room. Well, he went for about a year and a half of not using oils on the bottom of his feet. And the reason for that was he was like, my feet don't smell anymore, mom. Like they didn't, he went, he's gone through this transition of like his shoes don't stink, his socks don't smell as, I'm like, okay, whatever. And then it started happening. Just this, this fall, he started getting bug bites and he was like, where are these coming from? And I'm like, well, we don't have any, you don't, his room is like spotless. He's like the strangest 14 year old I've ever met in my life. Like he has the cleanest room, everything's organized. Probably just the OCD, right? But he's like in there, everything's, there's no food in there. There's no bugs in there. He doesn't have bed bugs. Like, I'm like, I don't know. He was getting bit by something somewhere. And there's been like a lot of mosquitoes and maybe a flea. I, I said, maybe the dog had a flea and the flea got on you. You know, that happens. I'm like, but you're not putting oils on the bottom of your feet, right? And he's like, no. I go, okay, well, you put tea tree oil on the bottom of your feet or purification on the bottom of your feet and you'll not get bug bites anymore. So it's like part of the thing is that matriculation of your feet act as this slow release of the oils into your system and it changes your pheromones, right? It, it changes it to the point where the bugs just don't like you anymore. So that's great. So um, he, he's like, give me some. So now he's like every day putting it on and he's not getting bit anymore. So, he's, so you know, there's gotta be a reason for boys to like want to do something. So like in the summer when it's really hot, Tim usually has a roller ball with peppermint because he likes to roll it on his, he rolls it on like his scalp in the back of his neck before he goes on a bike ride because it cools him off. Um, he uses uh, stress away every day. So he used to use pure uh, valor. For some reason it changed. He doesn't like the smell of it anymore, which I'm like, who doesn't like the smell of valor, right? So I love valor. Um, so I swipe him every once in a while, uh, that and Northern Lights Black Spruce, but he loves the smell of stress away and he likes the way it makes him feel. So um, he always rolls it. He has a roller just on his neck after he gets out of the shower. So um, I encourage that every time I, I don't say anything to him when he puts it on or whatever, but like halfway through the day, I might give him like a really big hug. And I like to kind of like hang on him hug because he's uh, he doesn't, he's not a hugger. So he doesn't like it. So I'm like, I just need a big hug from you. And then I'll like nuzzle my face in his neck and smell that it just smells so good on him. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. That kind of positive feedback helps boys when they're, you know, and that Jacob used to wear stress away every day to school because the girls all were like, man, why do you smell so good? <laughs> so, you know, he doesn't anymore right now, but I keep like, keep saying, do you want to do like a custom fragrance? So it's one of those things where you just have to find something that there's a reason that they need to use it. Um, and I mean, Tim understands the reason of supplements, uh, mighty pro changed his entire constitution. And he's just like, that's he, that was his gateway supplement. And then the doctor said he needed to be, cause he has diabetes. He needed to be on a vitamin D. He needed to be on an omega. So those things we were able to like, get him started on with young living. And so like, he takes like multigreens and, um, our super vitamin D and super vitamin, super B, like he has to, he has to take those. So those are consistent, those four supplements. And then he started taking power dries, right? Cause it's like the little blue, blue pill. So any of you know, men that are on metformin that long-term will cause side effects that men don't want. And so you need to be on power dries. And so he's like, fine. So that's part of the thing is like, what is it that you can do to help your husband, um, in things that they don't want to have. You know what I mean? So that's, that's part of it. So uh, I will say getting an ITOV was really helpful. We didn't do the Zyto because of several reasons, but one being that we're a Mac family and I, I just, I'm not going to buy a laptop just to use a Zyto machine. So um, he's a big fan of the ITOV scanner because 
he has Asperger's that is, they don't have like the emotional capacity to share what that is for them. The emotions are kind of weird for them. It reads his emotions really well. So he's always really shocked when he gets a iTobi scan. So we do that like once a month with him. Um, and that he said, he said to me, um, I guess this was like six years ago when we got that iTobi scanner, he was like, that's what did it for me. Because that told me in a real way, like a verified way that this stuff really works because I could attest to what it was telling me. So that was interesting. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm not gonna answer some questions that I wouldn't know how to answer. So uh, I don't know. I mean, if we get on these and do more and you wanna ask a question again, if I don't an answer, just let me know. We can kind of get into it. But um, can you take life nine right after you eat? So the bottle used to say, take it right before bed on an empty stomach. Now the bottle says, I think it's like an hour after you eat or, or take after you eat. So yes, you can take it after you eat, but right after you eat, no. So Mighty Pro, you're supposed to take with food. Whereas Life 9, wait about an hour. You know, that's what I usually do. Um, I usually, if I'm gonna take Life 9, cause we take Mighty Pro here in this family, um, it, but I do have Life 9 as well. If I take Life 9, it's gonna be right before bed and I might take two or three of them just because I'm trying to like help rebuild my gut. But I would go for it like an hour after you eat. Okay, um, and don't take Life 9 with any essential oils. So that would be the other thing. Um, and then the best time to take digest and cleanse. Again, many of you have these questions about like, when is the best time to take something? Well, number one, the best time to take it is what the bottle says. Okay. That's really important. And you all have the bottles. So just read the bottle, right? What does it say? <laughs> that's the best time. If you're going to go off label, the only way you can really legally go off label and you can go off label any way you want. But the only way you can legally go off label by sharing with somebody that you're saying, hey, you can go off label because we're not legally allowed to say that is if we're doing less than. So like we're going to go slow. So if you are brand new to say supplements, right, you're brand new to like vitamins and minerals and all this stuff. Generally speaking, it's the same thing. If you're brand new to oils, you want to start slow. So that means, you know, your body's not used to it. So do like half or even a quarter of the dose. So some doses call for like two capsules, two times a day, do one capsule one time a day for the first week, then do two capsules twice a day, like one capsule one in one time of the day, one capsule in another time. Like, like literally, if any of you have experienced this before where you've never done supplements before, and then you go on a bunch of supplements because you take like a supplement test and they, you know, you're like, oh, I need all these or your doctor tells you you need a bunch of supplements, you will feel super nauseous and you will go through some really rapid detox, more so than even on essential oils. It's not fun, it's not pleasant, so that's why we can recommend going slower than. But anytime anyone recommends you hyperdosing on something that's off-label, that's highly illegal. So just know that. So like when I say I'm going to take three or four Life 9 right before I go to bed, well, they're probiotics and they're pretty benign. Same with enzymes. Enzymes and probiotics, you really can't overdose on. If anything, if you overdosed on probiotics, you're just going to have diarrhea. Like who cares, right? If you overdose on vitamin C, you're going to have diarrhea, right? So there's things, that's the only thing that's going to happen to you. So, so yeah. And I would always say like, I, for me, what I do, if I want to do something, I, I will add more, right? But again, generally speaking, we add less. So just to get started. Um, <clears throat> so digest and cleanse, I think the bottle says, if I remember correctly, like you just take it with each time you eat, I believe that's what it says. Um, and so it's not really an empty stomach thing. It's, it's with the meal. Um, and most of the, most of the oil supplements. So you've got like inner defense, um, digest and cleanse, sleep essence even, uh, can be a little bit hard on your stomach if you're not used to consuming essential oils, <clears throat> but they all have carrier oil in them. But again, depending on how and when you're taking it, like digest and cleanse, you can take during a meal, I'm pretty sure. So just check the bottle because they might have changed that to like in between meals. It might be in between meals. Um, but uh, yeah, generally speaking, because that one has um, some kind of like ginger and fennel that can kind of feel a little bit harder, but you, you should be fine on that one. Um, Okay, the difference between, there was two of these questions that came in. What's the difference between MegaCal and SuperCal Plus? And she said, other than the obvious pill versus powder, by the way, they are drastically, completely, 
1000% different. And then the same question came in about Super C. What is the difference between Super C tablets and Super C capsules? Again, drastic differences. I'm talking like night and day different. Okay, so MegaCal was the original supplement that Young Living came out with because this was back in the like early 2000s or something like that. I think that was when that one came out, uh, might have been in the, in the late 90s, that that's how people took calcium. They took mega doses of calcium and magnesium to help support their bodies and doctors would recommend that. Okay, now why? Because our bodies are calcium depleted and we couldn't figure out how to get the, our body, how do you get isolated calcium to become bioavailable? Well, you mega dose on it. So that's why it's called mega cal. Okay, Gary, because he was always the consummate student, constantly learning, constantly researching, he found that it's higher bioavailable in whole plant form. So whole plant algae, right, is smaller amounts of calcium, but far more bioavailable. Your body knows what to do with it, and the calcium is utilized in your body far better than isolated calcium. So he was going to do away with mega cal and introduce super cal plus that was the plan um so many of you have been on mega cal for so many years um and are dealing with constipation by the way because that's a very common side effect when you deal with high dose calcium but you love it so you're on it it helps because the magnesium is really helpful in there as well so he just left them he left both products um and so some of you are on both i will never teach to take mega cal it's an isolated supplement i'm not a fan of isolated supplements so there's very few reasons you would need an isolated supplement and in the case of calcium you don't so super cal plus is a better option in the case of super c tablets versus super c chewables there is a difference so if you if you um there's a, a good reason to do both so this is the supplements desk reference third edition and it's the color one from 31 oils if you buy it on Amazon it's not color unless you buy the hard copy which is like ridiculously expensive through Amazon. Um, because that's what their color is ridiculously expensive, but this is like a really nice paper and um, this will give you the full breakdown of everything plus a gajillion protocols plus the back has like. A supplement class scripts has tons of recipes and it has like a full on index so you can look up everything okay so. This will tell you the difference between the two and it will help you understand. So when you, so in the super C section, it actually goes through like really clearly what the differences are. Same with the calcium, you'd have to turn to both pages. The super C is on the same um, spreads like moving forward. Mega Cal and super Cal plus are on different pages. But just so you know, um, sometimes we need to mega dose on a, what's called a buffered vitamin C. That is an isolated vitamin C that's buffered. Okay, so that means that your stomach won't get all upset. And that's when you're doing a bowel tolerance flush. So people who have cancer typically do bowel tolerance C flushes or really they're doing IVC. So an at-home version of intravenous vitamin C is to bowel tolerance vitamin C. So what that means is you're taking a thousand milligrams every hour on the hour until your stomach starts feeling a little rumbly. Now I'm lazy and don't like to do that. I like to just do it all in one fell swoop. So I will take like 8,000 milligrams all at once. And then a couple hours later, my stomach is like rumbly and that's my bowel tolerance when I'm healthy. When I'm ill, if I have a cold or a fever or anything going on in my body, I'm at 12,000, 15,000, 18,000, 25,000, depending on how ill I am, that's going to be your bowel tolerance gets higher. Um, and that's what you use a buffered vitamin C for. So that's super C tablets. Super C chewables are naturally buffered, but it's the whole plant. So that is a, a whole plant, whole food vitamin C, and it is better for daily use. So if you're just using something and you want full bioavailable vitamin C and you're not trying to do a C bowel tolerance, you cannot get to bowel tolerance on super C chewables. You'd have to eat like eight bottles of it or something like that. But it's what I use at night before I go to bed. It helps with your hair, skin and nails as it regenerates at night. Um, when you take super C chewables with certain other supplements like iron, so we don't have an iron supplement. So I have a, a supplement that I recommend called Vita Iron that's uh, from curry leaf and it's high bioavailable iron because we don't have iron, but iron is better absorbed 
in plant life form, right? But also if you add a super C trubles, like really good combination. So that's something to consider. So like, let's say you're getting your um, synthetic iron and I, I have to be real careful using that term, but it's, it's iron ferrous. It's, it's a, it's a chemically com like created, uh, not plant life um, iron that most of you guys are taking. Uh, that's not, you don't want to take that with a plant life super C, right? So the super vitamin C chewable. So, so that's like, <laughs> it's kind of like, what? What do we do here? So that can cause like nausea, upset stomach. It can cause your mouth to turn like blue, your teeth to turn colors. Like, like synthetic iron is just not good for you. So that's where we want the kind of higher bioavailable. It goes back into, are we using isolated things or things that are from nature and from whole food? So hopefully that makes sense a little bit. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Okay, so um, hopefully that that answered that. Okay. So I like to kind of help you guys and I'll, I'll kind of end here that you guys have so many questions and I will come back on and kind of mark this question and we'll do a whole nother one. Cause I don't want to do like, we usually do about an hour long videos on these, but um, sometimes you guys will ask highly, highly um, non-compliant questions, right? Like I'm not a doctor. I'm going, I'm going to school to become a naturopathic doctor, but that's still not a licensed medical doctor, right? I'm still under the same compliance laws. I'm just a practitioner. So, um, as a, I have a diploma in naturopathy and I am going to get, become a board certified naturopathic doctor. But again, that doesn't mean I can diagnose and treat people. So whenever somebody asks a non-compliant question, it's okay. I don't have any problem with non-compliant questions. It's how you answer that that's important. So this is like, you know, what's a good blend that supports breathing for someone who has, who has COPD or asthma? Um, are there any supplements that support respiratory? So the question that would have been compliant is, are there any supplements or oils that help support respiratory system? When you add in a specific disease like COPD or asthma, specific like name of something, um, that becomes non-compliant. Okay. So just again, meaning it's now, if I answer that, do this for COPD, I have now crossed the line into practicing medicine without a license. So I would never answer that. I can say, Hey, there are some supplements that can help support healthy respiratory systems. Uh, but I would not mention those disease terms. So I like to get into some foundational things. And you guys have seen me posting on foundational things like breathing exercises. We need to strengthen our lung capacity. As you get older, especially men, right? Men and women, but especially men, as they older, they lose about 50% of their lung capacity. You can get that back and you can continue to be strong in your lung capacity if you just simply practice breathing exercises. We're constantly breathing in this 10 to 20% range up here when we're not getting down into the depths of our lungs. And it can even be painful for some people who haven't done this in a while. So you have to get built up to it. So doing those deep diaphragmatic breathing exercises that I've taught you guys on, it's just getting the diaphragm to move up and down and open, open your lungs and squeezing out all of the, you know, I did this at the event um, and one gal was on oxygen and I'm like, everybody squeeze, like you go, you breathe out when you keep breathing out and then breathe in. And well, this gal's on oxygen, so she was trying to do this and she had a whole coughing fit. And it's like, your lungs are not healthy enough to handle that. So you have to do what you can handle and then build up to that. So she would have to like breathe out as much as she can and then breathe in as much as she can. And maybe only do that a couple of times and then set an alarm on your phone for like every hour to practice deep breathing exercises. So there's some different things um, that I've posted in the group. So just look up oxygen, and that will help you guys with some of the breathing exercises. But part of it is um, looking, looking up respiratory and you can do that. Like what is the body function system that you need help with? And so if you go into um, like testimonials and different things of people um, looking up online, even just Googling respiratory, you can, you can find things. So on page 114 and 115, there's two different respiratory help things. And again, it's just what would help for general seasonal allergies, right? What are things that could support that um, from a compliance standpoint that we all know it's like, okay, I'm just trying to help 
support my respiratory system. But then there's also sinus issues, which is totally different. So what helps that? So, um, and again, I, we don't list things like COPD or asthma. So that's where you got to do a little bit of digging and know that there are things that are really beneficial to your respiratory system that you may not think are. So like agile ease, golden turmeric, turmeric specifically is, is helpful for respiratory system. Um, but also supporting your liver helps support your respiratory system, right? So there's some things that we have to kind of start digging in a little bit deeper. And um, super C, the super C chewables that we just talked about is really great. Um, there's there's just a lot of really good things about um, super vitamin D uh, with respiratory health. Um, just just look it up, look up the, the things where it says on there, super vitamin D helps support a healthy respiratory system. So hopefully that helps. And you can look that up, look up COPD and natural supplements, literally Google that. So that's hopefully helping you to teach, teach you to fish because you can look that up and do it yourself. I just can't do it and tell you, well, this is what you should use for COPD. I hope, I hope that makes sense. Um, okay. So let me take some more of this. And I want to give a couple gifts away. So um, let's see. I'm going to give a gift to Ruth A. Ellis because I didn't answer her question. Isn't that funny? I skipped her question for on specific reasons because it's it's a non-answer. It's it's um she was just asking about why a product might make her heart race after drinking one thing, but something that's similar, different. Um, again, it's it that's kind of an odd thing to ask because I've had some people, because I can't, I'd have to ask you more questions. Some people say like, I've used this and that's what caused it. And then I dig, I dig just a little deeper and find out that no, they were doing something else new that they didn't consider. And that was the thing that caused it. That's a very common cause of what, you know, I've had somebody literally the whole iron thing, they, they were telling me um could a product there was a supplement she was using cause her tongue to turn blue and her teeth to turn blue and I'm like no like that's so weird and she's like it's all I'm doing differently I'm like is it what else what else did you change did you change anything else and she's like actually yeah I started taking a new iron supplement she sent me what she was taking and I'm like that's why so again we have to help them learn how to be health detectives we have to ask more questions and I'm gonna guarantee that like a heart racing after drinking um like he drinks zing and he's fine but he drinks ninja red and all of a sudden his heart's racing like that's a little weird the only thing i could maybe say is potentially would he be allergic to wolf berries but again a heart racing is an odd response so i would say what else was he doing what else did he eat at that time I know it's like a little bit, a little bit weird, but Ruth is going to win a prize for me. So please go ahead and, um, and message me, Ruth. Actually, you can email Tim at 31oils.com and tell him that you won and we will get you your prize. Um, and let's see who else. I know I've got a bunch of you guys on live here. So um, can anyone guess what I'm diffusing back there? It's like so good. I don't know if you guys can guess. I don't know if I can actually see your live comments. Um, I can't really because we're not on actual Zoom. I'm on Zoom, but you guys are on here and it's not showing me live comments. I can just see a few of your comments. Okay, we had another um, question enter to win. What year did you join Young Living? So I'm gonna um, I'm going to award a prize right now. So if you know the person who wins, uh, you can message them and let them know that they won. Um, okay, Erica, and this is just random. I just picked a name, Lanzarone. Am I pronouncing that right? You win, yay. So email Tim at, oops, Tim at 31oils.com for your prize. That's always fun. Um, so Erica wins and then we have um, some of you guys are tagging people too that are not in the group. So just add them in the group. Uh, and then I have, where is she at? 
Ruth wins. <laughs> you win. I love it. We love giving out stuff as much as possible too. Um, and then remember, so I'm going to end the sale in at one. So you're, I'm giving you 45 minutes extra today or actually an hour extra today. Uh, so just know that the $5 sale is pretty much like uh, intense discounts on a lot of things. The funnest one, the most fun, funnest, that's not a word, but the most fun, um, new thing we have is our brand partner. So we change the brand partner. Uh, we change it up every once in a while. So there's more in it now. So it's really, really good. We, you know, we love trying to kind of like pack that one full because it's like, I think it's $140 worth of items for $25. So it's a, it's a little ridiculous, but that's a fun one because that's a really great welcome pack. And some of you utilize that when somebody joins Young Living, you will actually just send them that from us and they're getting all of this content that's really packed with information. So anyhow, um, we will we will get back to these questions on another one, but I'm gonna try and do this weekly with you guys and do some more videos in here. Uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Um, there's so much that I can continue to cover. So I'm excited to kind of get on here. What I'm thinking about doing is um, just doing videos like from, I, I use my laptop a lot downstairs. And I thought if I just kind of popped on and answered some questions, as opposed to like all the background and <clears throat> like getting all ready to do the videos and stuff like who really cares. So you're going to see me without makeup on and all the things I want to share with you something I'm working on right now. Um, can you guys see that spot? These two right here. These are brown spots that are sunspots that are misshapen and raised. I had a much bigger one right over here and you can probably watch old videos. And for the past two months, I've been putting ozone carrier oil mixed with essential oils. Remember the essential oils help ox help your cells utilize oxygen and ozonated oil is massively like activated oxygen. It's gone. So I had like an actual raised um, brown like thing that was misshapen and I'm sure it was like a good, you know, something or rather I'm not gonna say what I think it is, but I have another one here that I didn't put on. I was actively putting it on here um, two to three times a day. And so now I'm going to work on this one. And so you guys can watch these go away. It's wild to see that how the essential oils mixed with ozonated carrier oil is like the best combination ever. <laughs> so <laughs> we love it. Um, and I'm, I'm just been learning a lot in my studies and stuff. And that's one of the things I got really into was ozonating our carrier oils and then seeing how our essential oils just are magic with them. So that said, um, I will get back to these great questions that many of you guys have, but we answered a bunch of them. Uh, but this is kind of what we do in our Team Vitality One Drop Club. So if you're interested in like actual one-on-one, -on -one, like where we're talking and everybody's there and you can actually communicate and ask your questions and get your questions answered and get my cell phone number. So if you have an emergency, you can text me. Um, that is onedropclub.com. So you can just Type in onedropclub.com and it will share with you the information there. Uh, you can wait if you want to get a little bit of a discount. That is not discounted right now, but that usually goes on sale for Black Friday. So if you want to kind of wait, that's fine. Um, and I know I have another, um, another person that will win on this thread um, a one-month access. Actually, that was what she won. So that was what uh Ruth won so that's good so that was on that post it was winning uh basically a what did we what did she win a month access to one drop club along with a $40 map so the maps are still on sale today so mywellmap.com they're normally $40 they're $20 right now um get that because once you have that done you can kind of utilize that for a long time uh but yeah so so that's what she won that's fantastic so yay all right that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me on Saturday. And uh, Saturdays are pretty good for me sometimes, but possibly Friday. So I'm just going to pop on here and do them and give you kind of a little bit of a heads up. But otherwise, have a blessed day and we'll see you guys soon. Okay. Bye, everyone.